Hello, my dear students. Today, I am going to start subjects HVDC transmission. This subject is elective in Electrical Engineering IKG PTU syllabus seventh semester, and the code is 805B BTWE 805B, and it's a elective paper in seventh semester as per the syllabus. 2011 old syllabus so presently the students are studying in seventh semesters regular in electrical engineering in any institute of ikg ptu can take as a elective of this subjects like high voltage direct current transmissions the subjects contain 40 marks internal as well as 60 marks external overall 100 marks we have a three lecture in a week means three hours in a week and tutorial for one hours so it's around near by four hours in every week we discuss regarding this so i will prepare a different different lectures around 10 to 20 minutes and cover the entire syllabus of high voltage dc transmission so first i would like to introduce the syllabus content as per as the curriculum you see here first module or chapter is direct current power transmission technology in which we have taken near by 6 to 7 hours for this particular chapter and it may be 15 to 20 video lectures of different different topics like when we will go for the introductions we conclude a topic two topics in one or uh, my one video lecture in this lecture onwards that is called introductions and comparison of alternating current and direct current transmissions in this video we will cover up to this point then for next video lecture i will explain the application of dc transmission it's a printing mistake by ikg ptu applications of dc transmissions applications of dc transmissions two times then the descriptions of dc transmission system taking one lectures one video lectures i will prepare for that then the configuration and planning for high voltage direct current transmission as we discussed this will also takes configuration means one lecture for that planning for high voltage direct current one lecture and modern trends in trans dc transmission introduction uh, introduction to devices thyristors valves valve test and recent trends so it will take around 10 to 12 lectures of 20 to 15 to 20 minutes to cover this overall entire first units then we will go for second unit like analysis of high voltage direct current converters here we discuss regarding the different types of converters designed by helping of semiconductor devices like well, uh, like the uh, simplified analysis of grid circuits converter bridge characteristics simplified analysis of grid circuits and the characteristics of 12 pulse converter detailed analysis of converters with and without overlapping when we will go for third chapter or so third module of this subject we having a converter and hvdc system controls where we discuss regarding the different types of converters and the controlling mechanism of hvdc transmissions so here we are discussing general principle of dc link control then converter control characteristics then system control hierarchy firing angle control current and extinction angle control a starting and a stopping of dc link and power control higher level controllers and telecommunication requirements for the system control of hvdc transmissions then we will go for next module it's a uh, very few topics like uh, converter faults and protections after designing the converters we have discussing regarding some faults and the protection of converters then the smoothing reactors and dc line before that we protection against overcurrent protection against overcurrent uh, in a over uh, converter station surge arresters and the protection against over voltages then a smoothing reactor and dc line means we have to smooth the uh, level of dc by different different smoothing reactors dc line transient over uh, voltage in dc line protection of dc line dc breakers monopolar operations effect of proximity of ac and dc transmissions line proximity effect is a effect in the 
transmission line so we will discuss regarding both the case of in the case of ac as well as dc then the component module for the analysis of ac dc system this is the last chapter here we discuss the general converter model converter control modeling of dc network and modeling of ac network so last topic we will develop a model of dc network as well as hv ac network and for completing this topic we have some reference book for that so we will go for it also if you have any problem regarding this topic the overall topic of this syllabus you will refer the book like hvdc power transmission by professor pedyar and professor kr high voltage engineering by professor c l badwa high voltage engineering by professor r s ja and high voltage dc transmission by professor e w himber it's a really uh, publications very good book you will go for it and if you have any problem regarding this you can easily control it noise then right now we are going with the introduction of high voltage direct current transmissions main thing with the increasing of requirement of electrical power supply the facilities have to increase in that transmission plays an important role means for developing uh, for the increasing in requirement of electrical power we have to design a bulk size transmission systems so for bulk size transmission systems we need to design efficient systems that's why we have to develop a hvdc transmission for that when we will go for the history of the hvdc when hvdc will start as a transmission mode so the first hvdc transmission made a modest beginning in 1954 when a 100 kilovolt 20 megawatt dc link was established between swedish mainland and the Iceland of Gotland and before 1970 the converter stations utilized mercury arc valves for rectification after the successful application of thyristors in the high uh, high uh, the highest dc transmission voltage range right now plus minus 800 kv in india and uh, after the development of semiconductor material like ig semiconductor devices like igbt gto and different different power controlling devices then when we will go for why dc transmissions required the main question is that we are studying hvdc transmission the first question in the mind why dc transmission required when you are appearing in any interview any viva any technical quizzes anywhere regarding when this uh, subject will came in front of you the first question asked by the external or examiner or interviewer why dc transmissions required dc transmissions required because losses are less in dc transmission while comparing to ac transmission different different losses are there in transmission system like corona losses previous first lecture i discussed already regarding the corona corona have a multiplication factor of f plus 25 in their loss equations where f is the frequency it means in the case of india we have a frequency of 50 so the multiplication factor is 75 50 plus 25 but in the case of dc transmission it's only 25 so the power loss due to corona in a dc transmission line is one by third time less as compared to ac transmission second thing only two conductors are required for dc with positive and negative polarities so the cost of conductor will reduce the power losses in a conductor ir square losses will be reduced then the dc overload lines or cables are less expensive means the dc lines having less expensive as compared to ac systems because the core, we have a two core only required two core but in the case of ac in the case of star we required four core transmission line and in the case of dc line are useful for long distance above 500 km up to nearby 500 km at the 600 km the transmission cost is same in the case of ac as well as dc when the transmission line is less as compared to 500 km the ac transmission is more efficient as compared to dc but when the transmission line will raise above 500 km dc transmission system is more efficient as compared to hvac system for same power transmission line then 
the last topic of this particular video is comparison between ac and dc transmissions when you are appearing in your semester examinations we uh, they ask either in two number marks or four number marks or maybe eight marks in detail you can compare between ac and dc transmission so first thing according to first one we will convey, uh, compare here the conventionally power transmission is affected through hvac system and over the all over the world it means power transmission affect hota hai in the case of hvac in all around the world by different different uh, obstacles so we will go for hvdc systems for that then the hvac transmission is having several limitations several limitations in the hvac case like line length if length is more than 500 km it's costlier as compared to hvdc uncontrolled power flow means the power flow controlling is not available in the case of ac because lots of losses occur due to synchronism in the system over oblique low voltage during lightly oblique overloaded conditions means it in the case of ac the frequency will be the main factor when suddenly load going high the frequency will suddenly going down and grid will suddenly not work properly then the stability problem in the case of ac stability is more difficult as compared to dc system fault isolations etc means we have to maintain the particular fault isolations before commissioning the systems and maintenance then the last is the bus hvdc have low transmission losses and it require only two conductors means in the case of hvdc systems the requirement of conductor is less and the losses are less i already discussed so when we will go for overall comparison of ac and dc transmission the main only the extra cost is the power controlling devices in both the receiving end as well as uh, sending it because our generation is in ac so we need have to convert the ac to dc then we have to upgrade the level of dc voltage by using different converters like choppers then again it will convert uh, uh, reduce the level of voltages in the case of dc by using different step down choppers and all type of converters after that we required a inverter to convert these ac transmission voltages to ac transmissions for the proper utilization of electrical engineering so the question came for this topic is only one questions or two questions regarding your semester examination first question is what is hvdc transmissions you have to explain what is hvdc transmission it may be two number questions or maybe four number question second topic i covered is comparison between ac and dc transmissions network so the comparison between ac and dc transmissions it may be occur either two marks or four marks in your semester examinations so guys if you are studying in ptu uh kapoorthala uh, affiliated any institute institute in punjab or other universities also in the branch of electrical engineering either in third semester fifth semester seventh semester or first year you can subscribe my channel because different different topics will cover in upcoming days so it's a very beneficial to start your syllabus and to give the basic ideas where you have to cover your syllabus and the main main point of your syllabus and the basic knowledge of your syllabus and after some times i will launch my telegram channel also where you get the all ppts as well as pdf material and handwritten notes for your particular semester examination it's a single platform for electrical engineering will provide the complete entire syllabus topic by topic of all the state universities like ikg ptu kapoorthala rtu kota btu bikaner rgpb bhopal gbu noida aktu lucknow hbt hptu uh, sorry hptu simla and aryabhatt technical university bihar and uh, the state university of uh, haryana also so i will Uh, i want to tell you that the subscription of channel 
is much more efficient for you in next future because after the completing of the syllabus i will share you the scope of electrical engineers in different different places in psus as well as private sectors so after completing the syllabus i will cover the entire facility available for electrical engineer as an electrical engineer i have a core team i have a different different members that will introduce their subjects and their particular specialization in few days so guys subscribe my channel give some like and also give some feedback if you want to enhance and upgrade my lecture for upcoming chapters and upcoming subjects thank you guys